Hi. Hi. <laughs> Y'all, I'm at the self sufficiency gathering, and let me show you who I know. <laughs> Rebecca, touch my yarn. Look what she's doing. Are you shocked? That's gorgeous, by the way. That is so pretty. That's going to. There's her baby. There's my baby. That's Denver. Denver. Who's that going to? What? Who's that going to? That's going to Wendy at Willoway Ranch's uh, daughter. Her for her baby, huh? For her, for her baby. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Tell me your name, sir. Ben. Social. What's Blood that? Type. Social. <laughs> Social and his address. <laughs> yes. How many children? Yes. Home yes. And he and Jessica are hosting with Nine Acres Family Nine Farm, Acres Pathways, Pathways Homestead, Homestead. Uh, this wonderful event. We're really excited to see what they have planned. Today, it's not about just how you raise your kids. And so, um, but we are privileged to have many, some of you here that are first generation homesteaders. And you guys are important to this movement. And we, we want to welcome you here. And if you're a first generation homesteader, we want you to latch on to somebody that's not so that you can learn more. And I'm going to tell you, as somebody who's not, I learn stuff from you guys that are beginning. Yeah. Because there's things I don't think about, things that I I didn't know. You know, I, I've done it the way my family did it. You guys are coming from a different perspective, so you're knowing things that I don't know. You're researching, doing different research, you're getting yeah. You're getting a hold of different information that we don't even think of. Right, right. We just do what Grandpa told us to, right? <laughs> yeah. So, first of all, Vincent and I, we're going to pray to get this started. We think relationships are extremely important. And the first and most important relationship to us is our relationship with our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we're going to start with a word of prayer. And we're going to talk to you about homesteading as a creator connection. I'm Bill, uh, Bill Griffiths. I'm from right here in Fort Scott. Uh, we do have a YouTube channel uh, called Nine Acre Family Farms. And the only reason why our channel is named that is because that's where our farm is. Uh, we have nine acres outside of just west of here. Uh, I grew up in a commercial farming atmosphere or a traditional farming atmosphere. I started this project of wanting to have a gathering or a, uh, I'm really inspired by a homesteading expo not very far from here that I attended this year in Marshfield, Missouri called Mozart Homesteading Expo. And I wanted to bring something like that to this area. Uh, not on near that much scale. Uh, and I figured it was gonna be small. And I'm so glad that you're all here. Uh, well, well, there was quite a few in here. We had like 14 in here. Yeah. Yeah. I just told them that we would run all day, they could hop in, hop out, whatever. Mitchell showed up in Nina. No, I'm videoing. And the girls. I just wanted to get out and walk around first before I got the camera. I just figured I'd grab it. Uh, you're with a bunch of YouTubers. You you don't have that right. What, Dan? You, you're with a bunch of YouTubers. Yeah, so, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of them here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, what's the name of your channel? Henderson Family Farm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should have seen the look he just gave me, y'all. <laughs> Yeah. 
but I know who it is. down if I get her if that our focus completely changed away from money and everything to this is about us and making sure that we're secure. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and first starting with grandpa and grandma and our grandma and mom was teaching me and even as a child what I experienced I had a joy in the garden always from making videos. Out and purchase my own plants, and I had my own spots and grew my own little garden. That, it's surprising to me that when you get on YouTube, and it's not so much at our place, but you go and whenever I think of farm or homestead, I think of big, big pieces of land, right? Well, these people are doing it off their patios and they're making it work wherever they're at. I just think that's pretty neat how if you want something bad enough, you can do it anywhere, anywhere you're at. And that, to me, that's, you know, I never looked at it like that before. Water here gets thrown out, that's a hog truck. Pile of pallets, that's a hog pen, or chicken house, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, and that, an old, an old saucepan that got bent, that's a rabbit water. You know, that's the kind of how we learn to do it, and we barter and trade for everything. 
Cindy and I barter and trade for all kinds of stuff. I've paid doctor's bills with pre work. I have, we, bought, we buy propane with hogs and calves. We, uh, we've done all that. We, we've traded our built fence for tea. We, we do a lot of bartering. So it takes less cash. It does take a lot of time. Um, and so, but I'm going to say, in saying that, the most surprising thing in my, my homesteading journey so far is all y'all want to learn to do things that Hillbilly's been doing his whole life. I mean, I always kind of felt like the outcast and like I, people that I went to school with, people I knew that were all about making big money and old field jobs and stuff. And I was just happy to raise the garden and chickens and have enough to pay my bills. And now there's a whole bunch of people that want to learn that. I go to yeah. these conferences and we get to talk about that. I think that's the most surprising to me is that why would y'all want to <laughs> want to do what 